In this Malaysia vlog, we explore the city of Cyberjaya, the Silicon Valley of Malaysia. We'll share our experience with this interesting city. Oh my gosh. Including things to do, where to eat, and where to stay. One of the things we really liked most about Cyberjaya was the big range of apartments that you could choose from at reasonable prices. We stayed at both the Hive and Canvas Soho apartments during our time there. Hive was closer to supermarkets and more restaurants, however we liked the accommodation better at Soho Canvas, with spacious rooms and amenities. One of the things that we've really loved about staying at Soho Canvas Cyberjaya are the facilities. So I'll just show you some of them right now. So they've got a pretty decent looking gym. We haven't used, but it looks pretty good anyway. I'll just show you. It's just here. And right now, I would have it all to myself. So that's pretty cool. And what's even better is the pool. So <laughs> we've made it a daily ritual to have our morning and afternoon and evening swims. Yeah, you've got a 25 meter pool, which is really handy. And right now it's empty. It's about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Yeah, really nice. And what's even better are these more intimate jacuzzi pools. So there are four of them and we've been able to get them pretty much to ourselves most days as well. The water temperature is pretty much the same as the main pool, but it's still really nice and you get the bubble jet. So there's Jay just having some fun. We've really enjoyed these pools here and we've come here morning, noon and night. We also made good use of Tapak Urban Street Dining, which was a food truck venue at the base of Soho Canvas. First dish of the evening is a nazi caribou. So I must say, nazi caribou has been one of my favourite dishes in all of Malaysia. So it's a little bit like nazi lamak. However, there are a few key differences. So, firstly, the rice is blue, which is quite interesting. And the nazi caribou also comes with some herbs that you can mix in with the, the rice. And there's also desiccated coconut which all adds to the richness of the dish. It's really yummy. I like those crackers as well. Yeah. And it's got a salted egg. Yep. And we've even got some, I guess, some salad or coleslaw for good measure. Now, the chicken that we got is a ayam madu bakar. Now, I know madu means honey. I, I think this is a barbecued chicken, so that looks should be good. nice. It looks really good. So I'm going to just get some rice to begin with and mix it in with the So having it with herbs. this chicken was 12 ringgit and if you had it with just a normal fried chicken it was 11 ringgit. I just love rice with coconut. I think this is like a fried coconut in there. Oh, it's so delicious. Okay, so I will use my fingers with the chicken. How does it look on the inside? Mmm. Mm. It's good, it's nice. Very tender? Yeah. Yeah, it's very tender. Everywhere we've gone, uh, the chicken that we've eaten has been so nice, so nicely cooked, really tender, juicy. I don't think we've had a dry chicken yet. Malaysians really know how to cook their chooks. This is a unicorn frappe and my inner child is so happy about this. It's so colourful and it's even got star-shaped sprinkles on top. So this looks really, really good. It was nine ringgit from a um, food truck here inside the dyer. Mmm. Oh yeah, yeah, it's blueberry flavoured and I love those smatterings of the blue food dye or whatever it is. It just, yeah, it looks amazing and it tastes really, really good. These food trucks are here every night of the week. Some food trucks won't be open during the week. But the best days to come are Friday and Saturday night. You won't go hungry in Cyberjaya. 
we had plenty of tasty and well-priced restaurants to choose from. Today we're at restaurant Ketam Manis in Cyberjaya. So this is a seafood restaurant. They also do vegetarian and meat dishes, but today we're getting to fish on our dish. So we've got a tilapia and we've got, I think this is called a balwa. So different types of fish that are popular in this area. And they've both been fried. I really like how they've fried it. And it's a whole fish. It looks really beautiful. It comes with um, some sort of sauce, I think, and rice. It's a few vegetables as well and because we've got the lunch special it also comes with a free drink so we've got a lemon iced tea and a lime syrup so this looks amazing they both look like they're white fish really nicely fried mm. really tasty really savory a little bit salty mm and really like clean taste to it as well now i'm interested to see what this sauce is i might just have a little taste mm. it's a curry um and it's served cold this was 9.90 this was 14.90 including the sides and the drink so really good value definitely recommend coming here for lunch if you're looking for more traditional Malaysian eateries, make sure you head to the Neo Cyber District. We've come across this really cool area in Cyber Jaya. It's called Neo Cyber, and there are a whole range of uh, Nazi tandas of traditional Malaysian eateries. So it's lunchtime now, and we've chosen Nazi Kanda Malayu Mad. So we've got a Nazi Kanda Ayam Goreng set, so it's a fried chicken set, and it was, it was 10 ringgit 90. So this comes with rice, it comes with the fried chicken, there's okra in here as well, and the rice is dipped with this really nice sauce. Yeah, and I'm not quite sure what these things are, so I'll just try that. So I describe this stuff as like grinded up corn chips. So I'm not sure exactly what it is. If you know, please let us know in the comments. So the sauce looks really cool. So they put a couple of different sauces on top or mix it in together. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So one of the sauces was like a soy sauce and then an additional one was quite spicy. You know, I'm feeling that now. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. So this looks like a really good, hearty, good value meal. I've got Pasang Goreng fried banana. Yummy. This is Pasang Goreng or fried banana. So it's a popular street food in Malaysia. This looks really good. I love banana and I love fried food. So this is a match made in heaven. Oh yeah. So it's very crispy on the outside and then on the inside it's a little bit smooth and very nicely sweet. Oh this is a really delicious snack. The street store that we went to had two different varieties of banana. So there was a smaller and less sweet type where you could get five pieces for two ringgit. Uh, we got the bigger, sweeter type, five pieces for three ringgit. Ikan Bakar Aiman is a seafood restaurant in Neo Saiba. We have a fish dish here, we've got some rice as well. So the fish was 12 ringgit and the rice was two. So they pre cook all the meals and it's kind of like a buffet style. You just pick and choose what you want, plate it all up, and then pay at the end. This looks really tasty. It's a nicely fried whole fish and it's a white fish. It's got a it's like a chili sauce and some lime and stuff on top. Mm. The lime gives it a nice sour taste, which works really well with the spiciness of that chili sauce. And the fish is nice and tender. Now it is a cold fish because it, it was cooked a while ago. We're kind of at the end of the lunch rush now. Mm. Really tasty meal. So the Neo Cyber District of Cyber Jaya is a really cool place with lots of great eateries like this one. So definitely come here when you're in Cyber Jaya. What we found unique about Cyber Jaya was the large range of international cuisine that was available. 
One of the things I really love about Cyber Jaya is that there's such a wide range of international cuisine. Not only is there Malaysian food, but there's Japanese, Korean, and even Arabic food as well. Another must-do activity for foodies in Cyberjaya is to visit the Cyberjaya Farmer's Market at Wreckescape. We had a great time exploring all the tasty stalls of delicious Malaysian food, as well as international cuisine. We've put together a whole video of our experience. Make sure you check that out too. One of the most striking aspects of Cyberjaya is the contrast between the skyscrapers and the lush greenery of the surrounding forests. There are plenty of green spaces to help you reconnect with nature. What I love about Cyberjaya is just how green and leafy it is. So we're at Cyberjaya Lake Gardens at the moment and you've got these beautiful grounds including the lake with water lilies, lots of picnic areas and recreational areas. It's a really relaxing place to come. Pudujaya Lake is another beautiful area to walk along, ride a bike or even hire a scooter. Just be prepared to encounter wildlife as well. Oh my gosh. We've just been walking along the Putrajaya lakeside and we just went up a path to what we thought was a cafe but we stopped in our tracks because there was a cobra about 10 meters away from us so it was moving away but it was like two meters long black oh far out I'm so scared of snakes and I thought we've seen so many monitor lizards we've seen so many monkeys it's only a matter of time before we see a cobra and we saw our first cobra so I'm sort of, um, one I'm freaked out and two sort of a little bit excited that I saw a cobra in the wild but oh my gosh there are cobras in Malaysia just be careful. Okay so one of us is afraid of snakes and one of us isn't so I'm going to see if I can get some footage of this cobra. Okay, so I think it was around here somewhere, but it looks like it was moving away. Uh, unfortunately, no dice with finding the snake again, um, but I can confirm it was as big as John said. He wasn't just making things up. There are also a couple of malls inside the Jaya where you can get your food and shopping fix. The largest malls that we visited were Tamarind Square and a Pools Shopping Centre. We did have some trouble working out how to enter Tamarind Square and spent about 20 minutes in a car park before we found the shops. Our perseverance paid off with some delicious food at Pekan Ippo Kopitiam. Two of my favourite all-time foods are me kari and dim sum and we're having both today at Pekan Ippo Kopitiam in Tamarind Square, Cyberjaya. Oh, this meat curry looks really nice. We've got the noodles, we've got tofu, egg, squeeze of lime. We've got some meat in there and some fish balls and stuff as well. It looks like a really hearty dish. Uh, and it's been a few weeks since I've had meat curry, so I'm going into a bowl. Mm. That curry broth, it's got a nice level of spice to it. The noodles cooked really well, we've got some shredded chicken in there. Mm, this is really, really good. We've got three different types of pow here. So we've got kaya, coconut and chicken. So two of them are sweet, one of them is savoury. All look delicious. One looks like the kaya, so you can see coconut butter in there. Really nice. I suspect this is the chicken. So it's got a chicken curry in there. Mm. Goes really nice with that fluffy bread. And then I reckon this one might be the coconut. Mm. This one's got more of a, a little bit of a crunchy texture, like more of a coconut, like shredded coconut um, compared to the kaya, but it's reasonably similar to kaya. These were three for five ring at ten. This selection of five dim sum was 1090 ringgit and we have chicken, we've got crab and we've got a fried corn one. Yeah. So you can get the dim sum steamed or fried and oh, they're just so tasty. The main drawback that we found with Sobajaya is the lack of public transport. There was no operational bus service from Puchadraya train station, nor was there a regular bus service around the city. The city is very spread out as well and we found ourselves covering large distances walking from place to place. 
please let us know in the comments if this situation has changed since late 2022. In our next video, we go on a hunt for the legendary Ramley Burger. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button to stay tuned.